now we learn the methods which are used to check the string now like is upper is lower where we'll get a return value as true or false based on the method we use so let us understand how these uh, methods are utilized or methods are used my str is equal to let's say plus two net i am creating a sample string and uh, checking whether this my this uh, uh, string contains alphanumeric only or it contain anything else so for that i will use is is uh, all num right so it will not take any input now it will check whether it contains only alphanumeric means alphabets and numbers so that will should return true for us yeah it is true now i can change it to i will add a special character here let's say i have intentionally added a hash here now let us see what the output how the output changes it changes to false now we will discuss all this is upper is lower is digit is numeric all those uh, methods where you will be you will be getting uh, return value as true or false is alpha checks only the uh, presence of the characters in in our string so let's uh, set our string as let's say i have again writing plus two right but here you can see one uh, numeric uh, car is present so let's see what the output is my str is alpha and the output will be false this time because one numeric is there now let us change this to welcome so we are not kept any number or anything else so this will be true now now let us understand each digit and each decimal so the, we can compare it and see the output my str let's say uh, one two three now print my str is digit fine now let us one more method also will learn my str is decimal now let us compare the outputs these two so we'll learn these two now you can see both are true because all the str all the uh, string insides are all are digits now let us add two more cars to this so you can see both are false how it responds to decimals so let us say decimals are there so both are then what's the difference the difference lies with the use of unicar codes let's use this here you can see that unicar code is in in our uh, string so let us see the now it uh, is digit and is decimal will give a different digit will identify it, it gives returns as true and decimal will return as false this is the basic difference between these two now let us see what is the is numeric so we'll have a string now my str is equal to let's say one two three print my str is numeric now this will give us true okay let's add decimal then false you can add any care to it you can get false again now then you can ask what's the difference between is digit and is numeric both are same now let us change this to a another string now here you can see this string is chinese one two three so if i i'll use is numeric this will come as true but what about digit let me try print my str is you can see each digit will give it as false identifiers we use in python as uh, name of the variables or name of the functions or any class or anything we can create but let us check how a string uh, can be identifier or not so we'll use for that uh, let's create a string with uh, let's say i am adding one a b c 
now x ok fine this is the thing now what it the restriction is it can contains cars both lower and upper case cars but it can't uh, can't start with a number and it can't contain a space or any other special cars within it so let's check it because we have kept a number at the beginning so my str so let's see the output is identifier i now let's false now if we remove this first character let's say this true now this we can't use special cars let us use a hash here so this will become false now fine we will understand now is lower and is upper my str is i am keeping all the lower case cars here so now print my str is lower fine this should return as true now what happens when you include two more digits in that it's true because it contains all the whatever the cars are there it is all are lower now suppose i will use one upper case it became false now similarly uh, parallelly we can see is upper also you can see is this will work check for the sorry i am it's the is is upper this will check for the upper case cars both will false because this is present now let me make all upper case now this we should return is upper as true and lower as false so this is the basic difference let's try is title so we'll take a string again each title will check uh, whether all the uh, first character of the word is uppercase or not. Welcome to let us say python, we have intentionally kept this in lower case. So, we can check it now print my str is title fine. Now, this will return me false because here one case we have left it as in lower case. Let us change it. So, now all the first character of the words are in upper case. So, let us see now the output it is true now. Now, let us see is printable. Now, is printable if you, it will check whether all the characters are printable or not. Now, let us say welcome. Now, all characters are printable. So, let us say print my str is printable fine. Now, print it this is return true. Now, we will add one line break at the end fine now what let us see what it returns it is false because is printable is false. Now, similarly let me just add one more is is space. So, print my str is space all characters are white space or not now in this case this is no more required because this is a different let me create one more fine is this i will remove now if i am putting now this is you should check whether all space are there in the character in the string or not now let us see it's false even if i remove this also this will give me false fine now let us remove all this and put some space only fine i have some space now let us see this is almost all the uh, methods we have covered now in the part one we had uh, differentiated between different how to declare a string and use it and uh, multi line strings and all in the part two all the methods and in the part three we had discussed about all the checking of the string whether it is uppercase, lowercase, title, whether it is a digit or a decimal all these checkings we have done.